Javale! Javale is here! Ooh. Okay, quick meal call. Uh, <laughs> he sent me a message and said, oh, how'd you like a sticker? I'm like, oh yeah, I would love a sticker. And he said, but be warned, when you send it to me, I'm going to send you one back. And he's like, ha, I never put my address on there. He wasn't lying, he doesn't. So, I, uh, I said, okay, fair enough. But then later he sent me an email with his address. Um, so not only is he clever, but he's also funny. <laughs> he's a good guy. He uh, does great videos. Um, I've seen his sticker in a lot of the channels I follow, so. Okay, so my wife stopped in. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, I'll insert a little clip here um, of one of his videos. That's where that piece of quarter inch hose comes in if you can't reach up in there. And then snug it down with your wrench, put some goop in the boot, stick it back on, and move on to the next one. Cussing is optional, and uh, it really helps. Um, and then uh, we'll put them on the cabinet. And uh, check them out if you haven't. I think most people already know them. So. But, you know, kind of late to the game sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's been a weird, crazy couple months. So. I won't dwell on that. Um, Texas, Viking, heart goes out to you, bud. Keeping uh, prayers for you and your wife. So hopefully that'll get resolved soon. Okay, he's on the cabinet. Might be the last sticker I can put on here. On the doors, anyway. Well, a little room there. You know, might be able to find some room. Um, once I get all the junk out of the garage from the flood. Yeah, I know, it's been over a month, but we're still working on it. Um, yeah, so check out all these fine folks, and uh, if you can... Catch you, Divi you Dizzy's live show. I'm watching everybody's video. I'm just doing it on uh, my cell phone as I'm working in the basement or in the, at work. And <clears throat> my fat fingers don't work so good on that keyboard, so I just don't comment. But uh, I try, you know. So anyway, take care, everyone. Uh, on to the next thing that I'll attach to this video. So one of the things about the flooding is, is it forced me to go out and buy some things I didn't really necessarily want to. Um, however, I uh, was looking for a 18-gauge uh, brad nailer. So I got the Ryobi one. It was the only one I could find that was in stock because I needed it. When I needed it, I couldn't wait for shipping it from somewhere. Uh, went to Harbor Freight, picked up this oscillator. Did gangbusters. We used it all over the basement. It was great. Still using it. Um, cordless sawzall, just awesome. Um, I have a corded one, a bigger one. Um, uh, must be in the house. Anyway, um, also Chicago Electric. Uh, I paid 50 for that and I paid 20 for this. And then like another 40 for the battery and charger. What a rip off that is. You know, when I bought these drills uh, and most recently, this Weed Whacker about a year ago, they came with batteries. All the Black & Decker stuff comes with the battery. Whatever the price is, that's what you pay with the battery. This Ryobi, no. The, the battery and the charger were almost as much as the device itself. What a scam this is. And Chicago Electric, same thing. I picked this thing up and I thought, wow, that's a great price. Got it home, no battery, no charger. I had to buy those separately. It's crazy. Um, picked up a pack of Sawzall blades from... I think it was Home Depot. I think they're... I don't know who makes them. I think they were branded as Milwaukee, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I used just about all of them. Uh, you can see. Uh, <laughs> we used both Sawzaws just like a ton of times, and they were just incredible. And I got two things for this one. Um, this one, which is a bi, excuse me, a bi-metal blade, and then another wood one, and I think it came with a plastic one. Anyway, this thing works great for, I don't know what I paid for it, 18 bucks, something like that. You know, they won't last me a lifetime, but, you know, uh, I'll get a few years out of them because I don't use them that often. Uh, I went to buy a battery for this one. This was the um, first Black & Decker char uh, cordless 
drill I ever bought. The battery died on it. It's $30 for the battery. I can buy the whole unit with battery on Amazon for $30. So, you know, I don't know. I don't want to throw it away, but, you know, maybe I'll just buy the whole unit for 30 bucks and then just have, you know, two heads for the battery and just swap them out when I need to. I don't know. Uh, this thing's been great. I've had it for about six years or so, maybe longer. It's been perfect. Um, and I only got this one because there was a deal on it that I couldn't pass up, even though I had this one. So, Plus, this is 20 volts. This is 12. So, had a little more oomph to it, you know. Uh, this, I believe, is 18 volts. I like this thing. It works super well, except this button here. Every time I pick it up, the LED light goes on. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but uh, I'm not a big fan. Uh, I also got uh, my brother-in-law uh, came up to help us with my nephew, and he left his uh, table saw here. Um, I think it was just an excuse for him to get a new one, and he could tell my sister, oh, I, I left it for Scott because he didn't have one, and aren't I great? Oh, by the way, I need to get one, so... <laughs> Well, he left here. Him and my nephew left with a pocket full of money. So, I mean, they didn't want it, but I, I made him take it. So I think that was his thought was, well, I got extra money now. So, you know, I'll get a new saw and give this one to Scott, which is great. This thing's wonderful. It cuts straight as an arrow and it's perfect. It's exactly what I need and it folds up to almost nothing. I can stash it somewhere. It's great. I bought these fans to dry out the basement. I wish I could get them to t uh, Terry. Um, but unfortunately, the shipping is just ridiculously expensive. I've got two bats of insulation I don't need. I wish I could get those to them. I got two full rows uh, rolls of padding I don't need, which I would love to get to him also. But again, you know, if I knew somebody heading to Texas, I would just throw it in the back of their car or whatever. But... Um, these are 1625 see if them and I, and I had to buy these I think I mentioned it in the other video because I couldn't rent any and where everybody was out um then I picked up these six of these at Harbor Freight when I was there getting the other tools because they were super cheap I think they were 40 bucks a piece something like that turns out they're only 300 CFM but you know what they move an incredible amount of air for 300 CFM I am really impressed they went for a week straight non-stop um, those I could just keep running and point them in different directions. These I had to move. There's more targeted, so I had to move them around a lot more. But with six of them, it moved a lot of air. So I'm keeping these. I was going to return them. Um, you know, I have to clean them up. But uh, I was going to return them. That was general idea. Um, but I'm going to keep these. I'm going to use them for other things. Uh, these I don't. I can't return. But um, I'm going to see if I can sell them on Craigslist. Um, around here, they should go pretty quick because. Uh, there's a fair amount of flooding in the area, so uh, we'll get those out of here. Um, the drywall's gone. I can actually move around in the garage now. The drywall's gone. A lot of the stuff is gone. I do have two sheets of three-quarter inch marine grade plywood back there for the trailer. So um, uh, as soon as I get rid of some of this stuff, I got a door to put up, a, a bifold door. Uh, two of them, actually. Um, I get find a home for the padding and for the insulation and then um, my brother-in-law also left us these blinds I don't know what the heck we'll use them for um, he he's like keep them use them in your new place well <laughs> we don't even know when that's gonna be um, but I will I'll keep them I'll put them up there with the other blowers from Harbor Freight and then I'll just uh, Hang on to them, I guess. They can be cut down. Uh, he also left us a bunch of these. Uh, what I like about these are they're room darkening, um, but they're also paintable, and you can cut them down to size. They're real simple mechanics, so they go up and down real easy. So we'll, we'll keep those. Um, and then, so I got the other three uh, fans up there. I got one here, and I think the other two are in the uh, house. Um, so, uh, bottom line is, uh, <laughs> uh, a lot going on. Uh, this chop saw I've had for quite a while. Um, in fact, I mentioned it on one of my early videos because the guy gave that to me, um, along with two dozen and a farm fresh eggs. Um, so that was super nice. Uh, so that's about the 
the uh, gist of that. Yeah, these. That's a scam, boy. They couldn't make money by raising the price on these, apparently, so they decided, well, we'll sell the battery and the charger separately. You can buy the battery and the charger as one kit, but it's exactly the same as if you bought them separately. So, you know, it's just, I hate that, I, you know. But people buy them, so they continue to do that, and they're going to continue to do stuff like that to make more money. So, one of the reasons I like going with Harbor Freight stuff... Um, yeah, it won't last as long as, you know, Black & Decker or Rigid or whatever, but you know what? For as often as I use these things, they'll last. Uh, and then under there, you can't really see it, but I got a uh, Rigid table, um, a Rigid uh, tile saw, so that was kind of nice. Um, uh, then I saved this piece from the from downstairs it's got all the heights of our kids as they were growing up so I managed to grab that before it got wet and damaged so um, I'm kind of stalling I got to get back to it it's just you know I can't complain I've seen videos from Texas and from you know from hodgepodge garage and from Texas Viking and, and other videos and you know what we had was bad but not like that and, you know, my heart goes out to everybody in Texas and Louisiana. And apparently Florida is coming. So we got that to look forward to.